My dearest listeners, God says, It is time to let go our dread of man. Man did not die to save you. Man did not give his life for you. Align yourself with the only begotten on. This day, and I will position you in the company of the many brethren who have quenched the violence of the sword, subjugated kingdoms, and fulfilled righteousness along the route that I laid out for them. True spiritual dads will never trample on you as a condition of so-called discipline. Their end is your purpose made tangible, and it will be realized as you trust in who I am and what I am doing rather than allowing yourself to be a pitiful imitation of a flawed human example. No trial or difficulty in your life. Escapes may notice. I'm not pacing in front of the throne, contemplating what I'm going to do with you or how I'm going to get you through. I am the God of the universe and I reside within you. When Jonah predicted the destruction of Nineveh, he became enraged and inconsolable when they repented and he refused to demolish the city. He regretted the demise of Garden, produce and demand the city's sea of population. God is only waiting for you to ask him, and he will do it because divine prosperity comes from him. Not forgetting that he has already given it us. All you have to do is claim it with faith. Heavenly Father, I thank you for being so good to me. I thank you for your love and blessings. You have showered upon my life. Gracious God, I put my finances into your hands. I pray that you take total control. Your blessings. Bring wealth without painful toil. Let your blessings rain upon my finances, Lord. You are my financial support, and I have confidence in you that I will succeed in everything I do. I urge you to make a conscious decision. To be a participant rather than an objector to my mercy. In your heart. They shouldn't get away with that you say it in your heart. I do not make decisions based on a man's timetable. If I were to pass judgment on the perpetrator you can name, I would also have to deal with issues in my own heart and life. So be the compassion tongue expressing merciful words from a merciful heart, even to those who are most annoying in their stubbornness. I will turn them not by my severity, but by my goodness, and you will all walk to the Lord's table in peace. Allow the enemy to convince you or lead you to believe that what you are going through is unique or worse than what anyone else is going through. That is self-pity and self-absorption, attempting to divert your attention away from my faithfulness. During my earthly journey, I endured and was touched by the very things you are experiencing right now. Type yes if you believe. God bless you.